This is uh, one of the busiest times of the year because uh, while we're harvesting soybeans, we're also trying to plant winter wheat. So you have to coordinate uh, the harvesting, the fertilization, and the, the tillage, and the planting of the wheat. So it takes a lot of manpower and a lot of efficiency to get it done timely. It's, it's a race to get it out. Farming is of, you know, is a timely business. So you know you want to get your crop in in a timely fashion, and get your crop out in a timely fashion. So it's a, it's a race for the finish line when it comes to, you know, to harvest. That crop just doesn't sit out there and get better over time. When it's ripe and it's ready to be harvested, you have to go at it. And the longer it sits out there, uh, the more it could cost you financially from not harvesting it in a timely fashion. We invest all our money in the spring of the year, seed, and fertilizer, and chemicals. We manage that crop all season long. We put money out of our pockets into the ground, and we have to wait six or eight months on harvest. So. You know, it's much anticipated and much needed. Well, once the combine start rolling, that's when the checks start coming in. It's the time of year where you don't need an alarm clock to get up at five o'clock. It's like the city folk that goes to the mailbox and gets a paycheck. You're excited, you, you're pumped up. It's like Black Friday for the people who love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's like.